G'day, g'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel, episode 7 of our AFL Evolution career. The Eagles are currently undefeated and sit top of their ladder ahead of their trip down to Tasmania, but we do have some devastating news to start this episode. Luke Shuey has torn his Achilles and is out for the season. He's been ruled out for the rest of the year. We've had to make some changes. Dom Sheed comes off the flank into the midfield rotation. Nat Nui is also out for this week, and we've replaced him with Tom Hickey. Um, and that is a pretty devastating blow, particularly for this game, without Nat Nui and Shuey, but also throughout the rest of the season, we are skipperless. So Elliot Yo is taking over the role as captain today against the Hawks in what will be very, very tough conditions, by the way. It looks very foggy. The Eagles generally don't fare too well when they travel down to Tasmania, particularly against the Hawks. We're not particularly good against them in general anyway, so I'm anticipating a very, very tough contest today. Of course, last week you did play the Richmond Tigers in the wet at Optus Stadium, so I'm expecting a little bit of fatigue on top of the travel to Tasmania, which I think is the longest or the second longest trip in football. Um, there's a few things going against the Eagles today, so a win here would be a magnificent, 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 goodness me, result against Hawthorne, who are languishing a little bit in 11th spot. They've got Tom Mitchell back to the club, obviously recovered from his broken leg last season, and they will be looking to take this opportunity against a weakened Eagles side as we head to the middle. Elliot Yo is playing his first game as captain. Let's see how we go today. It's Hawthorne taking on West Coast. He has the ball. Showing some really good pressure there. He can take off after that handball. Dug out the loose ball. It's a turnover. At full stride, receives the handball. Oh, he's nailed it. Goodness me, Tom Mitchell, the man we were talking about in the pregame, on his opposite foot, gets the ball uncontested in the 450 and makes the Eagles pay. wants to take them on. Alex to kick. Rotham was promising with a three goal performance last week against the Tigers, and he steps up today with a good pass there. Jamie Cripps has an opportunity here. As I, am I going to go for the talk? <laughs> yes, obviously. I don't know how to kick these. Looks pretty good. That looks very good. That is actually my first top goal if that goes through. And it has. Jamie Cripps makes up for a terrible miss earlier with a massive goal from outside 50. Probably the furthest goal I've kicked so far in this career. That is actually a huge kick. How far is that? It's nearly at the center square. And it's cleared the line. That was nearly fence height. What a beautiful kick from Jamie Cripps. And the Eagles have their own response. Guides it down. The ball spills to Henderson. Kicks hurriedly. Good shepherding there Kicks from Henderson. Hawthorne, and that is just too good. As Gunston takes an uncontested mark, 30 metres out, right in front of goal, and he should put this through the middle. He decides to go for home. And the he has, and the Hawthorne stretch out to the biggest lead of the game so far with an eight point margin. Ball picked up. Smooth quickly onto the boot. Should take an uncontested mark here, and the Hawks are out again. We've got a spare play in the 50. Doesn't take him, but he... Oh, he finds another one. They have three onto two there, outnumbering me in my defensive 50. So, like I said before, they must be playing an aggressive style. They're getting a lot of free players forward of the ball somehow. And he has put it through to extend the lead to 14. It's Impey. finds his man on the move. Kennedy just put it on the ball. Oh, that is a great kick by JK. If he's found him, he hasn't. It's been well spoiled by whoever that is. That is a good tackle. Holding the ball and Cripps lines up. He's the only eagle to have a shot for goal today. He's going to have to probably do the torp again in these tough conditions. It's against the breeze. Has he done it? It's going to go very close, I tell you what. And it's marked on the line by Sean Burgoyne. Oh, he's going to get the kick away and... Oh, half time. Sorry, quarter time. Didn't realise there. That was a poor wasted opportunity from the Eagles. So the Eagles there burned a couple opportunities. Unlucky maybe with the Crips one where it was marked on the line. 
where they could have reduced the lead to two points. But the Hawks are all over them so far on the scoreboard. You, As you can see, 10 inside 50. Oh, actually, 10 inside 50 to 6. We're actually dominating the inside 50s. Tackle count pretty even. Overall, though, um, you know, the Hawks have just been a bit better. Why? Brander channels a long kick. Come on, Petrocelli needs to nail this. Does he take the opportunity? He does, and the Eagles finally have something to cheer about. It was a long time between drinks since that uh, Jamie Critz barrel, and Hawthorne was starting to look well and truly in control, but Petrocelli makes that one count. Oh, throwing the ball. I've been given a free kick. I don't know how that happened. I don't think I even really did anything to earn that, but I'll take it. Been given a couple of lucky free kicks in front of goal. Missed the first one. And Duggins mm, just nailed that one. That was average by me. I forgot. Swatson. The bounce made it tough. Collects the loose ball. Sicily tries his luck at oh, He's got to be a mark he's on the line. It's counted as a goal. Damn. Should I have spoiled? I don't know if that would have actually helped me. But Sicily has nailed a go. He's at eight possessions. Must be one of the best on ground statistically. Duggan forcing the ball down. It looks like he's playing more of a forward role at the moment. I might have to look into that. And a free kick has been awarded. I am benefiting a lot from free kicks right now. And I need it, to be honest, to stay in the game. And Darling puts it through. We're back to a two-point margin. Yes, Jamie Cripps. He's put together a fantastic performance today. This would be the first time the Eagles would be in front should he put this through. It looks like a good kick, I reckon. And that is a goal. The Eagles are in front for the first time today. It's been an arm wrestle of a performance. The Hawks have looked a little bit slicker. The Eagles have just slowly grinded them down and they're now in front. Lining up to put Hawthorne back in front. He has kicked it straight through the middle. Absolutely no doubt about that. And Hawthorne regained the lead. I'm sure can he find a player out wide? He can find Petrocelli all on his own. That is poor marking. And he should go back and slot this to put the Eagles back in front. It is going goal for goal at the moment. And the lead is constantly changing. Petrocelli looking to put through another He's goal. put it through. Picked up by Shields. Manufactures the handball. Finds his man. Oh, there is an easy, the easy goal. Is oh, has he touched it? No, he hasn't. He drives it. That is a brave kick Simply from Young Yo. And he's found Darling, who's outmuscled his opponents. Low. He's so hard to beat. He's such an asset um, in that forward 50. Because he can out-rustle his opponent. And he's kicked the goal. Eagles back in front. Well, we've had a number of lead changes right on half-time. As the Eagles go into the break. Five points up, I believe. They do. Camera angle gets me every time. Oh, that is a good mark from Bruce. And he lines up for an opportunity to put Hawthorne back in front. I mean, must have had six or seven lead changes since quarter time. That looks straight. It looks like it is a perfect kick, as it often is from Luke Bruce. Oh, O'Meara's got the overlap. He's going to run into a fairly simple goal, and that is an eight-point margin. I think the equal, or the biggest margin since quarter time, that's for sure. That's how evenly split these two teams are. Just releases the ball. Hearn slams it onto the boot. Gets it away under pressure. There's got to be a chance here for these Eagles. Liam Ryan can take the grab. He's got to go back and steady it because I have been erratic on the run. This is not beyond him at all from this range. This should go through. And the Eagles hit the lead with one point. This is an absolute belter of a game. They're getting closer and closer, gentlemen. And ladies. Picks up the loose ball. Great tackle. Burgoyne uses the Oh, hard tackle is stiff. I don't know about that one. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. Oh, he's handballed it to the wrong person. And Hawthorne nailed the goal. Can't fight the good fight. Got boot to ball. 
Gets around the pressure. Oh, too slick. Who was that? Tom Scully. Looked more like Jarman Impey the way he sort of swept through the traffic there. The Hawks lead West. Moves the ball by foot. How did you see the third term, Gaz? That is three-quarter time, and Hawthorne have skipped out to an 11-point lead, which could be huge in the context of this game because it's been mostly going goal for goal. Can the Eagles respond, or are they staring down the battle of their first loss of the season? Kelly continues to find the ball. He's getting off the chain. Showed good control. Oh, definitely like been gifted a free kick there because I was never, ever going to result. do anything with Waterman there. He's not that kind of player to Waterman score quickly on the run like that. Up. And he's Kick, missed. Tough shot, post. that one. Hard to blame him. Kicking. They can create from this. Holding the on the ball, ball definitely. Jake Waterman, Waterman has a chance to make up for that miss with a brilliant home. tackle. There's a chance here to make him four points behind. I reckon he might have pulled it off. It's going to go close. It is going to sail through. The Eagles are within four points yet again. Oh, I swerved. Kick to goal. Jarman Impey too slick for the Eagles defense there. And they're back out to ten points. This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. He gains possession. Oh, JK, can he spot someone up? Liam Ryan's got an opportunity here. He can't mess it up. And he hasn't. He's nailed it. And the Eagles with another response. This game is not short of drama. Got hands to it. Releases it under pressure. Charges with intent. Here we go, Petricelli's got to kick this, he's got to kick it, and he has! The Eagles have responded again, and we're back to four points, ladies and gentlemen. Hickey, oh, there was a spare play there. Can Ryan make the most of this opportunity? He can, yes, the Eagles have hit the front for the first time in a long time, since the third quarter, I believe. And that is a huge goal, William Ryan has three goals from five possessions the playing as a small forward and he's done it to, to perfection. The game. Hands that ball to the opposition. He's got the footy in his hands. Gunston oh, the, the uncontested mark. Jeremy McGovern Four didn't even try to spoil that. I'm not too sure why. I was button mashing. It's probably not what he meant to do anyway. And he's kicked the goal and of course one. this game still has a lot of drama left it seems. Can he find someone? He can! That is a brilliant pass to Oscar Allen. And the young two key forwards for the Eagles combine in what could be a crucial shot. And that is going to go close to missing. He has missed. Brutal! I didn't quite get it in the green. And that is painful. With a driving kick. Smith has a great set of hands. The will Ooh, I don't know what's happening there. That might be a game a glitch. Can I just get a game glitch? Could I, should I try and win the game off a game glitch? The banana. I don't really know how to um, do bananas Setting yet. I have been side. super successful with it. And that's not even going to make the distance, Looks okay no. off the boot. Just, not just to be enough, enough power on it. Fantastic chase and tackle. Oh, that is a good spoil. Oh, JK's got a chance. I don't think he's kicked the goal yet, and he still hasn't. Liam Ryan has missed. Gee whiz, it is a one point ball game here. Oh, yo. He launches the ball. Someone can take the grab. Petricelli takes the mark. There's not long left remaining in the game. This should be a simple opportunity. Petricelli has been brilliant all day in the Eagles forward line and he puts the Eagles in front. I still can't help but feel Hawthorne have a goal or two left in them the way this game is going. Oh, they've won the clearance again. Tom Mitchell bursts from the pack. It's a shank kick and that tumbles out of bounds. Oh no, the interception. The Eagles were out there. Petrocelli again needs to bring this ball to ground. He does. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance Where's the ball? Hold the ball. That is a great tackle. 
from Redden. Can he slow the game up? Does he want to? I think so. Drive the ball deep. Lock it up. Cripper! Looking a bit sluggish out there. Oh, he's been given a free kick uh, somehow. Oh, okay. Jamie Cripps is injured. That's exactly what I needed. But Liam Ryan has a chance to give the Eagles a very good chance of sealing this game. He's put it through. It's an 11-point lead, and the Eagles could be on the brink of six straight or seven straight wins to start their season. No, six. My bad. It's six. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Coaches love to see oh, that he's going to go deep. Jum Impey can take the grab. He's played on. He kicked it and he's missed. <laughs> that is the sign of a man who's under pressure. Oh, got the ball out. Oh, no. I didn't realise I had the ball there. And that is it. The siren just beats the mark. The Eagles hang on to record a... Really, really good 10-point win, actually. I uh, I had the probably the hardest challenge I've had yet in this season. I thought I wasn't going to bring it home with an 11-point deficit early in that last quarter. But we overcame them. Jack Petrucelli was huge, as was Liam Ryan in the front. Well, up front, Tom Hickey and Oscar Allen battled manfully. In the absence of Nick Natanui winning the taps, we got smashed in the hitouts, 43 to 17. 100 tackles each is a shows how much of a scrap this was. Dom Sheed, who stood up, I've rotated him into the guts instead of on his forward sort of mid position. In the absence of Luke Shuey, Jamie Cripps, who I forgot to mention, is brilliant as well, gets a or two vote performance. As always, guys, I'm going to take you through the ladder after six rounds or six and a half rounds, as you can see. Every time, every just about every side has played, except us, actually. It's us and the Derby. The Derby is the last round, and the, the Dockers have dropped to a left spot. That's how even the ladder is. It looks like they've had a draw against Geelong as well. But uh, anyway, the Eagles are on top of the ladder with a percentage of 151. Sydney are the surprise team in, to be fifth there. North Melbourne sixth, Carlton seventh. So a few surprises there. Richmond in ninth. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. And uh, let's have a look at the bottom of the ladder here. It looks like the Dogs are the struggling team. I'm sure Luke Beveridge is probably sacked if they are actually 0-7 after seven rounds. As you can see there, actually, it's Nat Nui is out with eight weeks. I must have, I must have misread that. It's eight weeks. I thought it was one week. That is a pain. And we've, of course, Luke Shuey is out for the season with that ruptured Achilles. So two of my probable, probably my two most important players in that midfield mix are out for an extended period of time, and that is going to be a huge challenge. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode of the True Footy AFL Evolution 2 career with these West Coast Eagles. We'll see you in the next episode for what should be an entertaining Western Derby 51. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.